Welcome back, guys and girls. This is the Geek Father, your decidedly average gamer, welcoming you back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. The last episode, I chased down yet again another street urchin who stole yet again my stuff, and I brought it back to the sister doing a good deed, raising my good o meter even further towards the light. Even though I'm a murderous outlaw. But I'm a murderous outlaw with a heart of gold. So now we need to decide where it is we plan to go. We could come across these strangers. don't seem like they, uh... I'm sure that Algernon Wasp deal will be something interesting, but for now... I want to get into the main meat of missions here. Greetings, friend! Somebody better answer their phone. So I tried a few episodes recording my uh, dialogue on a separate track. It just felt awkward. Plus there was a lot more editing involved. There was a lot more uh, editing. Fine tuning the sound involved. Look out! No. Oh no! You better hold it right back. Not again! Oh my god! Here's a pro tip, don't ever bump into anybody in this town, Hello? ever. There he is. Oh, god dang it! You see, you see the headache I'm dealing with in Saint Denis. Don't even breathe on anybody wrong, or they will send out a wanted level for you because you bumped into somebody, and they got fucking butt hurt, and decided to call the popo on you. So here I am. Friggin' way out of town, 
Only a bounty of fifteen dollars. Yeah. And I literally had freaking SWAT team response on my ass. You have to be so gentle in that town. Like stupid gentle. Like you might as well hitch your horse up and walk everywhere. You never know who's gonna get set off. I had to run out to the damn swampland. At least in the small western towns. You bump somebody, they were just like, oh, it was a fist fight. Here in high society, they just call the coppers. Bumming into someone with your horse with enough uh, force, horse force, will cause you to be accused of unarmed assault. And instead of, you know, settling it like, oh, I'll just pay a fine, it's a misdemeanor. It's what you bump that old lady in a petticoat? Let's send out a squad of like ten guys to shoot you dead. Like not even a excuse me, Mister, could you come with us? Like you're not even giving out. A... Come on! Is the effing post office? I need to pay off. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, 
Jesus, frack. It's okay, For frick's sake. I heard the mayor's going to be getting paid almost double in his new term. Oh? I'll be right over. Hey, partner. Uh, you don't say. What you need? I need to pay this stupid bounty for well, stupid nothing. I'm glad you're nothing. doing the right thing. Jesus. I'll send word over to the folks in Lemoyne. I'm in Lemoyne, apparently. So long. Freaking stupid. Hello, sir. Douchebags. Sorry, Hi, buddy. Man. for stamina. Wasted a whole episode. It felt like. Hello, mister. Dicking around with that stupid BS. I'm really trying to limit my uh, curse words. No, I don't want to jump in the wagon. Problem is, I probably should stop galloping all fast throughout town. Anything anyone can give me, please help. Please, you. 
All righty. I am having not enough fun time. Uh, Maybe two coins. Crying out loud. Get off the horse. Give the guy 25 cents. Go get yourself something to eat. Hell, I could get him a hotel room. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Okay, Probably girl. You dirt. <sighs> Jesus. All right. All right, girl. You're one skittish bitch, I'll tell you that once. I'm just thinking, 12 short years, they would have automobiles all over these streets crashing into each other because hey, we created a new method of conveyance much better than a horse Even it's a horseless carriage hey uh probably should have figured out a way to regulate how they interact with each other uh, good evening to you You'd think. Well, uh, just the other day. <sighs> Not the first time. How's things? I have seen better days. Gee, that took more effort than I thought it should have. much better reacting to things as they happen than after the fact. You've already watched it happen. Oh, you there you are, my dear it. boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous. The Whitmore. You can see the aristocrat okay. in his profile. A very good the choice, heavy sir. Brow from all the inbreeding. Can't keep my Come hat. On, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. My hair looks just fine. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. 
Oh, don't be so jaded. We You're both know this, this is just working. the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, Betting on well, the fact the that I actually can months, play poker. Arm robbery don't seem away. such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. They keep telling themselves the same lie over and over again. They're not going anywhere, but my the good man, the could ground. you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Let me guess. There's only one this haircut. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. Oh, wait. Is it the facial They're hair? Very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. There, I got rid of all my dang facial hair. I was really liking it, too. Is it wrong that I'm hoping for all these folks to get shot dead except for Arthur? Keeping a gentleman waiting. I don't know. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Is there a button right well, in the backhand? Look here? at you! From Toad? The Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're fresh oil man. Yokels? Money to buy. <laughs> Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, Desmond if his trousers is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Everything. Everything always goes wrong. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Oh, good luck, sir. Crying out loud. Of course I gotta go in here without my Now guns. remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, 
Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks are on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. This guy is so full of shit. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, call. Good God, are you men or mice? Okay, sorry, boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Fortunate enough? That's a lie. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. 
Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Oh, this is such a setup. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. All these dicks Very good. get shot in the face repeatedly. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. With a machine gun. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, so he hates Mexicans? Here we are. Blacks? Foreigners? Okay. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Okay, that was a surprise. I thought I hit the dead eye in time. Oh, maybe I should try to disarm him. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't Jesus reach for that man. gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Are you serious with this? I guess I gotta be fast, apparently. Just give me one second, sir. Did of tell course, you folks, take I your time. Decidedly average. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, I'm stupid. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. 
Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Don't you notice, search? Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Oh, Arthur, you dumb idiot, huh? Try shooting him in the hand. <sighs> All this is gonna get edited out, so I wanna make myself look like a fucking super champ. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Ah! Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. No garnish, no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. <laughs> my friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, no. Every time. You're going to die.
should never get involved with any of these idiots. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. What's fun, though? Sorry, ma'am. Just walking where I was walking. That's cool. You must like living here. All the best now. Okay. Or don't talk to me. Or sell me a paper. That's cool. Let's go fence that watch. Can we still fence the watch? I'm trying to leave you be, lady. The horse always turns the opposite direction, it seems, to the way I want it to turn. It's funny. It's on the only one galloping through this town. Can I be accused of speeding? Morning, mister. This is what we call modern day a uh, swap meet. Just what I need. He ever waits to look at the dog at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, nothing more. Hear me well. I have powerful friends, and they would be put off seeing me killed. Watch your step. I'm not here to kill you. I just want to sell some stuff. Hmm. Sure. I'll take a look. Oh, I thought there'd be some yeah, bigger deal or something. Find out. Pardon. Have you heard? There's some bad men that came into town recently. Don't mind, I had Sheila. A man at the general, no? Yeah. Well, well, well. Okay. We went through that business, made some money. I'm sure it's not enough, so we're gonna have to do some more BS in order to get to where we need to be. Let me guess. I gotta go all the way back to camp. Oh no, yeah. Let's 
Sadie Adler. It's probably about robbing the bank. So we're gonna head back to camp. Move it. Come on. So, I'm not going to show you guys the trek back to town. You know where it is. Back to camp, anyway. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. You can follow us on Instagram at GeekVentures and our satellite companies that handle our podcasts. Blurred Nerds and Pixel Gods. And, you know, if you like what you're watching, please hit subscribe. Drop a like. Both of those that help our channel out a great deal. Raise our visibility quite a bit. So, if you're inclined to do so, please do so. We'll love you forever. But until the next episode, this has been the Geek Father, your decidedly average gamer, telling you to kill them all and fix God's sword of mouth. Catch you next time.